Hi, it's Karen. I'm back with my something old, something new for March. So these are my craft favourites that have been in my craft room for the month of March. So let's get straight into something old. Now, it's going to be liquid glue. Now, I'm going to link a video down below to Natasha for in case you've not seen her. But what Natasha does, she actually transfers the Ranger Multimedia Matte into one of these little, these little bottles. So I did order these. Um, her technique's amazing, I'll let you watch that to see it yourself. But what I'm loving about this is it's just so inexpensive, it goes so far, it goes a long way and so easy to use and you get that wiggle room on your projects. So I've been loving using that throughout the month of March. And I've also been loving my One Little Word. And if you've never come across One Little Word, again, I'll put links down below, obviously, but in a nutshell, it's basically you get prompts every month to try and focus on something you want to achieve. And you pick a word, this year my word is time. And the reason I loved March so much is because it's one of my favourite prompts. This is the practice one, where you just go through and you commit to practising something every day. And you see, I didn't practise every day, did not, did not manage to achieve it. However, the time that I spent, the days that I did, I really felt it of value and I really enjoyed you doing that and keeping, and having that to keep me on track throughout March as well. The other thing that I've enjoyed doing in March, and I've, I've actually done a couple, I'll not show you because they're for the months ahead. I cannot find January, I don't know where January's gone, but I normally do these little month cards for my craft room, so I just keep them on display. Um, I've just got these little holders here that I stick them on, and they're just on top of my shelf usually. And these are just obviously some examples of previous ones I've done, but what I've enjoyed throughout March is actually getting ahead with these and making these little mini layouts, using st stuff in my stash. So I've gone all the way through to September, so I'm not gonna share them with you because we're not at that point yet, but I've enjoyed spending time making these little mini layouts. So these are just six by four. They're a great way to use up journaling cards if you've got a stack and don't know how to use them. Or if you've got some 6x4 paper pads, this one was from a 6x6 paper pad. So yeah, just, just use what you have and it's a great way to just spend 10 minutes if you've got um, a little bit of time to craft. Now the next craft favourite, I'm going to show you a little video here, is of Joanna Bassford. Now she does colouring videos, little tutorials, and I've been doing quite a bit of that recently. I discovered her over Christmas and did some Christmas colouring and some Christmas drawing. I've been enjoying doing a little practice, drawing along with Joanna. Um, she's got such a great personality, she's a pleasure to watch. So check her out if you've not come across her before. And the last thing, something old, that I want to share with you is actually a podcast. So if you've not come across it before, scrapbook.com do a podcast. It's obviously free. They do roughly one a month. If you can see there's quite a few of them now that they've released. And they've got some big crafting names in there. Some of my favourite ones have obviously been the likes of Paige Evans or Vicky Booten. Check them out if you've not come across them. If you like listening to stuff while you craft, it's that's what I do. I just leave the podcast playing while I'm crafting in my craft room and you get so many great ideas from that. So check out that as well. Now moving on to something new. I'm gonna head over and show you another YouTube channel. This is Laura. Now I only recently discovered her in March. So I've done a little bit of binge watching. I absolutely love her style. She's so fresh, so funny. Uh, videos are so, the quality of her videos are great. You'll, you'll love that. You may already know of her. She does handmade cards and she does lots of craft techniques and tips and so on. So she has been a new favorite in my craft room this month. The other new favourite, if you saw my craft haul last month, you'll have seen I got some pops of colour. These are like little, enamel, you can make enamel dots with them and so on. A bit like liquid pearls or nouveau drops or crystal drops. So I got them last month and I've been using them quite a bit this month. I particularly love the black one and the white one. The clear one, not so much, but scrapbook.com do have a sale on exclusive. So I have actually ordered a full set of 10 in the coloured ones. So I'm excited to get those in my craft room stash as well. So I've really been enjoying these pops of colour throughout the month of March. The next thing on my something new for March was this polychromo hex chart. Now this was from Sandy Olnuk. You may know of her if you're into Copic. She has a YouTube channel, but she is the creator of the Copic hex chart very famous hex chart. So um, I discovered she also does a polychromo one and because I'd got my new polychromos for my birthday I thought this was going to be perfect and I do absolutely love it. I had already 
let me just grab them i'd already swatched this i'd find this on pinterest so i could get familiar with the colors and all that stuff just similar to the copics the good thing about this is she's got all the colors next to each other that match whereas this is just more kind of in order if you like of the box so i'm going to keep that with my chromos as well i think that's going to be really useful for me so that's another favorite for March. And the last thing favourite I've got for March, I've only got four this month, but the last one is my lights. So I'm just showing you my craft room. I got these from Amazon, a little bit bigger than I expected them to be. Hopefully you've noticed my videos in the past month having better lighting. That's the reason I've got these. It is so bright here in Perth, Western Australia, that I struggle all the time with lighting and nighttime is just as bad. So it's allowing me to do a little bit more crafting in the evenings having these lights. And apart from the fact they take up a little bit of space on my desk I do absolutely love them so those are my favorites for March I'd love to hear what are yours please leave me a comment down below if this is the kind of video you'd like to watch I'd love it if you could subscribe as well otherwise I will see you next time have a great crafting week